Hey guys, it's Tarquin Cycling FPV, and I've got Larry Yost here, and we're working on his quads right now, okay? And one of the things that we're doing, I'm, let me show you what we got. I'm going to put on the bench here, and i got to zoom out a little bit, so bear with me, because we're doing the Radio Master T8 in this video. And I want to show you something, and I, I think it's important that everybody pays attention to the following, and I know a lot of my customers don't. So here's Larry's, let me get these screws out of the way. Here's Larry's new Petrol 75 2S, okay? And he's got it set up on his Radio Master T8. But I want you to see what's happening up here. So check this out. Um, let me see if I can do this. There we go. Okay, so look at his quad in beta flight. Now, Larry, Larry's actually sitting right here, guys, so I'm gonna point this out. So I'm showing them this screen right now, okay? So look what his quad's doing. Do you see how it's spinning right here? It's basically, and look at these readings. It's spinning, it's yawing to the right, it's pitching backwards, and it's rolling to the right a little bit, okay? so. Over time, what's happening is, and let me let me put it like this. So, so over time, guys, what's happening is, and I'm gonna take this. This is a different quad, same style. So, what's happening is his quad's turning this way. It's pitching back, and it's rolling. So, it's doing this very slow movement. But here's what happens: if you don't get the sticks to be centered at 1500, you're gonna experience that when you fly. Then, right? So, you're gonna just take off, and your quad's gonna want to start going. It's gonna want to start yawing this way. It's gonna to wanna to start pitching back a little bit. It's gonna to wanna to start doing a very slight roll, okay? So, what you're seeing is these values here is you're seeing 1501, 1498, 1505. Now, I'm gonna take throttle down because the throttle I don't care about right now. But this is one of the things that I try to tell people they need to pay attention to is, it's easy to get your quad ready to take off, but if you really wanna experience good flight, you have to take the time to go to your receivers tab and you've gotta set things properly. So, let me explain to you here. See where this says stick center right here, Larry? Can you see that right there? I see stick center right here. You see that? Yep. Okay. On stick center, it's telling you that the stick center should be 1500. These three are not 1500. Now, here's what low threshold is. Low threshold says, on my throttle, right, I want to be able to arm it if my throttle value is under 1050. Okay. So let me explain to you what that means. If your stick, if your throttle is at 1049 or less, your quad will arm. Okay? I don't like that at all. And let me explain to you why. I understand. If your if your throttle stick is not pushed down, meaning you 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 and I, I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna look at Larry while I talk to you because he's sitting right in front of me. But you guys, I'm doing the video for y'all too. So Larry, here's the deal. If you don't have your throttle stick all the way down and you carry the quad in your hands and you hit that arm switch and the angle is fine. Your quad, if it's at 1050 or less, will spin up, okay? You should be, people should be meticulous enough and careful enough to know that their sticks are at a point that is 1005. Like at five, your, 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 prop, your motors won't spin. At 1005, you won't get any feedback from your motors at all. You usually start getting feedback at about 116, 120, or 1016, 1020, 1025. At 1050, depending on how your motors are and how they're calibrated, it can spin up faster than a standard arming, okay? Now, we have our arming set. If you look, uh, let's see, well, this is a different version of Betaflight. So let me go to uh, motors here. If you look at your motors, you're gonna see that you have, if you're running D-Shot 600, you're at 5.5. That's over here on this, uh, look right here, Larry, if you look right here, okay? 5.5. 5.5, mm -hmm. now, if you were at one shot, your minimum throttle, this is when you arm, is at 1070, okay? So we're saying that at 1070 is already considered minimum throttle. 1050 to me is too much. And it also gives you this room where you don't, it doesn't matter if your sticks are right or not. If they're not calibrated, you're, you're still armed. You're going to have a bad flight. Your stuff's not going to be right. I mean, this is just, this is the, look, look at, this is what your quad would be doing. Guys, if you were doing this, this is what your quad would be doing once you arm it and get it in the air. It's going to be doing that back pitch, right roll, right y'all. Well, that sucks if you're flying because you're fighting that the entire time. So this is why it's important, guys. Even in acro mode. It, 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 it's in any mode. It's automatically getting a feedback from the sticks. So the sticks are already giving it a command it. when there shouldn't be. So guys, look, it is important that you do this. And I know it's faster to not do it, but I'm gonna tell you it makes a difference. And it's just a difference between being meticulous and making sure you know what's going on and, and not. So 
our first goal here, and we're gonna do the T8 for this. So I'm actually going to split this. You're gonna see the beta flight now in the top right of your screen. And this applies towards any transmitter, by the way, not just this T8, but this would apply to any of them. So on the T8, now I'm not as familiar with the T8, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. It should be pretty basic. I'm gonna hold the system button down and I'm gonna to get to my first page. I'm gonna hit page again. There's no SD card in here, so we don't see anything. I'm gonna hit page again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for him because this is not done yet. So I'm gonna set his year up. Now where is your, uh, I guess it's this year. What year are we? Uh, 2022. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. Go to the next one. We're in month three. Enter, and we are the 14th. Enter. All right, now I'm going to go, whoops, let me get back, hit return. Uh, sorry, bear with me, guys. I'm still getting used to this one here. Okay, so let me see. Where do you go to the, you just use this maybe? No. Nope. Uh, how do you get, oh, I see. Okay, so I'm going to go up because I want to see, okay, mode two is fine. AETR is fine. Um, Okay, that's fine. Everything here is fine. I'm just checking out a few things, guys, just because I want to make sure everything else is looking okay. It is looking pretty good. I don't see any problems. There. Okay, so we're done. if you have your radio set up, just ignore this part. Let's go to the next thing. We're going to go page again. Now we're at global functions. Don't worry about it. Trainer mode. Don't worry about it. Hardware calibration. Okay, here's what we want to do. You have got to do this. So we're going to go and we're going to hit enter. And it's going to, it's going to say hit enter to start. And then it wants you to center your sticks. So look at the little notches right here and try to line them up with the middle. Now this one you're not going to mess with, but this one, just line it up in the middle. I don't think there's any dials on here, so there's no problem there. So all we're going to do is we're going to do the sticks right now, okay? So we're going to hit enter. And now we're going to move the sticks, and you're going to move them with just with ease. You're not going to crank them one way or the other because you've got to mimic how you fly. So you're not cranking it down and cranking it up. You just gently go all corners. Then go the other way. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. okay. And then we're going to take the left stick and do the same thing. All corners just gently. Okay. And we're going to put it back. And then we're going to hit enter. Now, let's hit return, return, return. And let's see what our values are now. Now, look at that. You see how now we're almost dancing at 1500 all the way. Look at that. Now, take the throttle down. But look at our values. They're sitting there between 1500, 1498, 1500. Now, if you see that dancing around, and, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. If you see it dancing around, here's what you do next. Now you come back to, and you could do this in, in Free Sky's the same way. You just use your menu button. So we're gonna go to system. Sorry, let me go back, let me go back. One thing I just didn't, I just noticed now. Let me go ahead and there we go. We're gonna put, make sure all your sub trims are set, okay? So now look. We have, we have everything set, we calibrated, and our values are dancing between 1498 and 1500. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> we're gonna go and hit our model. Okay, we'll get to our model screen. And then we're going to go, let me see if I can make sure that we can see that. Make sure you guys can read that a little. Okay, now we're gonna take our model, we're gonna hit page. Page, 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 page. See this outputs? This is important to us right here. This is where we do our sub trim, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're going to, <clears throat> we're going to hit enter and we're gonna edit. And then we're gonna go down, let's see, channel one for you is, it's neither of these, it's going to be here. So, okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna make our, uh, our roll. See when we go all the way down on roll, it stops at, um, it's, let me, let me get the screen back up for you guys. So down. See how it stops here? When I go all the way to the left, it stops at 1,006. This is a gentle push, 1,006. Well, we want it to go to 1,000. So let's go down. That's your minimum right there. Once you get your negative 100, hit enter, okay? And we're gonna go, we're gonna go down until, while we hold this, we want, hold it with one hand and just go down. Uh, go the other way. Hold on. Let me see where I'm at. Let me hit enter. Let me go to max. Okay, this is reading lower. 
So we're going to set this in beta flight. We'll adjust this one in beta flight then, and I'll show you how to do that. So what we want to do, though, for our subtrip, so I can't get any lower because his minimum is already set at the maximum. But you see if I push it a little bit, there you go. I mean, it's maybe I'm just being a little too sensitive with it. I think the calibration is a little bit different. But in either case, what we want to do, though, is you see that 1499. Now, if you look in beta flight, we're at 1497 in beta flight. What we want to do is we want to go down or go up to our sub trim. See that sub trim right there? We're going to hit enter. And with the stick left alone in the center, use your up and down to change the value to where you can have it sit. Uh, let me see. Let me go this way. At 15. You see, now it's done. You're it's, on sub trim I'm menu. on sub trim menu. Yeah. Okay. And it's not dancing. Now that I've moved it to 0.3, your sub trim, your 1500 is locked in. Okay, and if I move the stick, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Okay, this is a sub trim menu. This is well, this is this is in outputs. In outputs. This is on the sub trim option in outputs. Good okay? lord. Okay. So it's okay. The video will help you. I promise you. Just okay. So look, our our once we're done with that, we're gonna hit return, return, and now we're at our output screen. The only thing left that's really dancing is the yaw, and you can yeah. see on the screen where it's spinning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our yaw, and I think that's this one here, right? Let me make sure. Looks. No, hold on. I need to. Eight. No, no, it's going to be down. Sorry, I keep forgetting that you're. There you go. There you so go. So it's going to be on channel four here. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to go to my sub trim down here, and I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to adjust it until I get to. Uh, let me go up. Sorry. Let me go up. Here we go. Till I get to fifteen hundred, and I'm there going to lock go. it in. And there, I'm done. So now I'm going to hit return, return, return. And that quad is no longer moving. That quad is now perfectly still. Okay, so let me center it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level it out, right? And look at his values. 1,500 all the way across, and that quad doesn't move anymore. Okay? okay. It is important that you take the time to set that up so that your values are perfect. Okay? Now... Uh, looking at your values wow. here, they're good, they're good. Now, you see how yeah. on your pitch, it goes to 2011. This is what I was addressing earlier. That's okay. So on your pitch, it goes to 2011, but you, we're talking about um, fixing that. So we want to stop at 2000. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up, hit enter, and I believe this is going to be it here. Uh, uh, let me see, edit. Yeah. So if your sticks go above the range, and the max and below the range in the minimum, meaning 1,000, 2,000, go to those and now you adjust the min and max. You're done with the sub trim. So go to the minimum, for example, and hold your hit enter so it's blinking and hold your stick down. And while you're doing that, change the value. And as you change the value, you're gonna see it climb up to 1,000. All right, so there we go, go seven, eight, nine, there we go, there's 1,000. Now, take the stick and hold it to the, uh, hit, hit return, go to the max now, Hold this, hit enter so it's blinking, hit the, hold the stick up, and now lower the value until it gets to 2,000. Do we have to do this for every enter. quad? <laughs> you see that right there, that question, the way you asked that? Yeah, that's why people don't do it. But yes, you should. Ah. If you want them to fly the same, meaning the center points are set, everything's set, <coughs> yes. Got it. Okay. Answers yes. So sorry, Larry, you're gonna have to that's take okay. your time. That's okay. okay, so our pitch is done. Our roll is decent. I have no problem with the roll, really. It's not reaching full on this side, and we can adjust it, but I'm not worried about it. So now let's look at the yaw. The yaw, the yaw is okay. It's a little above where it needs to be. It's a little too high on here. So I'm going to do it. I don't care. You don't have to do that. I'm doing this one for you. I'm not letting you go without it. Uh, so goodness. let's hit enter, and we're going to go down. To, wow. We're going to go to edit, and we're going to go to our min. Now our min is high. No, our min is low. So let's go ahead and enter, hold it down, and change it until we get to 1000 wow all right now let's do and then we're gonna hit enter okay return and let's go to the max hold it to the right hit enter and now we're gonna shift it down till it goes to 2000 and you're doing your value in beta flight not your radio by the way so there you go so now we should be right there excellent okay now we're done so now we only have one more really to do and that's gonna be our throttle so let's go to our throttle and if you look, our throttle's all the way down, and it is at 987. So we want to edit that. So we're going to hit Enter, Edit. Uh, and we're going to go to our minimum, and we're going to edit that, and we're going to bring it to where it reads 1,000. 
Okay, there's 1,000. Okay. And then we're gonna set it all the way up. We're gonna go to our max, and we're gonna change that to where it reads 2,000. 2,000, okay. Okay, now, there we go. Okay. Now, we're gonna bring that back down. Now, the only thing left is, if you notice now, my yaw is, is there somebody at the door, babe? Uh, let me go to my yaw here, and I'm gonna edit the min a little, or the the middle, the sub trim. Hit enter, and I'm gonna bring that down. I need it to sit at 1500 without bouncing. Okay, there we go. Hit return, 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 and this is now dialed in perfectly, guys. The quad will not move now. It is it is literally when you take off, this quad is going to sit. It where it is now now yeah now you still have your pids and stuff to do uh if you want to but 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 my point being is is you're not giving it any extra commands so it's not getting fed any information from you you're okay it should just go up and down and essentially it should cover. right now the other thing now is with our stick low threshold at 1050 okay what we want to do is we could say if you want now you don't have to do this oh my goodness let me turn my uh my sound off here sorry about that let me turn that off see if that helps Nope, oh, it doesn't help. Let me turn this off real quick. Stop ringing. There, okay. So if if I want to, and let me show you how this would apply. Here's Larry's quad, or here's a, yeah, this is this is Larry's quad. Okay, so here's Larry's quad right here, right? Uh, I think this is yours, right? Isn't that it? Yeah, that's yours. I've got the other one right here. I'm getting confused. Okay, so yeah, here's Larry's quad. And what we want to do he doesn't have battery in it right now but what we want to do is we want to mimic this so let me show you a few things here real quick mimic. so if you could yeah so what we're saying is look if i take that battery this battery right here i'm going to plug it in real quick okay okay quad is ready to arm let's look at something real quick on configuration i'm going to go to i'm going to click save here real quick make sure i'm going to go to configuration and there's this there's this one thing i want to show you right here now this is set to arm no matter what angle it is. Okay, it basically means there's no angle limits. That's okay? Good. That's okay. Good. That's fine on this quad, but if you had a five inch quad and you were carrying it well, like people do, they'll go quad. pick them up and carry them, and you're carrying it like this under your arm, and you haven't unplugged it, and you flip that switch, this would arm. Okay, and you'd be chopping yourself up, right? Your arms would get cut. I understand. Off. So what we want to do is this is the first thing, guys, to be careful of is set this at an angle like 20 or 25 degrees that says, hey, if it's sitting at that angle, usually maybe you're carrying it. Don't arm that. Don't accidentally even try to arm it. But understand that if you're worried about it getting stuck in a tree and you want to be able to arm it at that angle, you can. You can come back to your remote and I'm going to show you how this works. Watch. You see under setup here? See your quad right now like that? It's at an angle, right? So it's telling you it's at an angle of 26.4 degrees, okay? Well, if I have this thing set to not arm at 25, it won't arm now, right? If it's stuck in a tree, you're screwed, unless you do this. You take your radio, and you take your left stick, and you go to the top left, your right stick, and go straight down, and watch the screen, okay? There you go. Ooh. That tells it to calibrate your accelerometer, count it at zero where it's at. Now you could start it Based if you wanted to. Angle. Yeah. Gotcha. So if you really needed to get out of there, you would top left, straight down, okay. and that basically calibrates your accelerometer. That should be something you do every time before you arm on your first okay. flight. So, and then the sticks also, you can trim it with a six, I know that. That's right. But, but okay, so top, le left stick? Left stick's top left, Up. right stick straight down. Right stick down. Give gotcha. it a three count, and then you recalibrate Thanks. it. Okay, That'll yeah. Get me out of a tree. Right. So, well, you got your set at 180, so yours are on no matter okay. what. But if you had a bigger quad, and you you know you want to be able to have safety there as well, right? All right. So now let's go to your motors. So we're going to tell it now. Okay, it, this is this is actually level. So I'm going to reset this. I'm going to hold this just kind of like this, and because I got the battery. Oh, you know what? No, I can't because the USB is on there, so it won't be able to level really. So I'm just going to hold it. Now let me show you these motors. Okay, so motor direction is reversed, that's fine. So here's what happens. I'm gonna flip this switch right here, and we're gonna tell this thing to arm. Well, where's your arm switch? Uh, which one is your arm switch? Uh, Larry, which one on here is your arm? Uh, this one. This one right here? Okay. Way back here. All right, so let's go and check this out. Let's go to, let's go to modes. Let's make sure that we can arm it, okay? All right. Now, let me meet what my power is. Okay, it's there, there we go, there we go. And let's see, 
Let me go to my MSP. What is our... Let me make sure I have this right. Okay. Hold on, Larry. I may have this. I don't know if I've got my switches set right for you. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, it's giving me an RXL. So hold on. Let me let me just go over here. Let me go back to motors. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to make sure. There we go. Let me see. I thought somebody was knocking. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Let me just. I've got his stick set up. I need to. I need to check this out for me. So, all right. So we have you set here. Uh, let's go to our modes and make sure that everything is set to our. Okay, that's your arm. This is angle mode, horizon and air mode mm -hmm. and all that stuff and flip. Oh, this. That should not be on. Okay. So, yeah, so I had that. So now let me see if I can get this all reset. Let me see if I can do that. You didn't hear them? I heard them knocking. I, but I said somebody was knocking. All right, let's see if we can do this. Let me see what happens now. Okay, there you go. Okay, you see how it's armed here? Yeah. Right? Okay. They're spinning. Right. So, but here's what I wanted to show you. So now let's just say that we're going to disarm this real quick. Okay. Now let's go back to our receiver tab here, and let's say that we said we do not want this to arm if the value of the throttle is above, well, let me show you what 1050 looks like. Here, let's go back to motors, and let's arm it real quick. We're gonna arm this. Okay, let me get this to go, come on, and go. There we go, now I'm gonna raise the value Okay, they're at 1055, 1050 right here. Okay, that, well, two of them are at 1055. So you got a couple of things. So I'll put this in a different mode for it. But what we want to do is we want to say, if we wanted to spin, uh, let's say, let me disarm this. Let me say, okay, I want to take this and say, go to receiver tab and say, all right, I'm going to set this for uh, 1010, 1010. Okay, I'm gonna click save, all right? So now when I do that, his stick is at his stick is at 1,000. You can see that on the screen. Now, if I move it to like 10, 11, I try to arm, mm -hmm. it shouldn't arm at all. Okay. Okay? Yeah, that's, not, that's uh, okay. And, and, and that could be an inconvenience to some, but I'm gonna tell you right now that it's, it's a good thing to know. If it doesn't arm, you're like, oh wait, my throttle isn't all the way down. Let yeah. me move it. So yeah. here, no, that's I'm good. trying to arm, right? And it doesn't arm. That's good. But then if I move my throttle down, now I arm. Yeah, so it just tells you, oh, yeah. let me move yeah. my throttle no, something. Right. It's, it's just yeah. precaution, right? Okay, so there you go. Anyways, all right, so let's just do this. So, um, all right, guys, so look, this, the whole point of this video was to make it clear that it's take the time to get your sticks lined up, take the time to get everything configured in Betafly properly. It'll make a better flight. It's good safety precautions. It's just a better rule. Now, on these tiny drones, it does, everybody laughs, right? It, it doesn't make a difference. The props aren't going to really hurt you. That's fine. But if you get used to doing it now, as you increase to a 3-inch and a 5-inch, you have this practice in place that keeps it safe. Don't arm if it's at an angle that's not safe. Don't arm it if your throttle's not all the way down. And don't arm it and don't take off if your sticks are not centered and your quad isn't going to be sitting there basically without an input command. Some people can argue with me on this one. I understand that it may be take time to do this, but at the end of the day... I have to teach safety with this, especially because we're teaching a lot of kids to do this, and I want them to follow the rules so that they have the best chance of not having an issue. All right, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. Larry, you're good to go, so I'm gonna get this closed up for you. Everybody else, if you have any questions, please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit, uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Other than that, God bless, be safe, and I think my son and his girlfriend just walked in. Ashton, are you here? What's up? Hey, he's back there. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go spend some time with them guys, and I uh, hope you all are doing well. Have a great spring break, and I will see you all soon. Peace. I don't have any idea how valuable these videos you make.